Let's keep shit 100, bro. You're not sad about the bitch. You just don't have any other options. If you had any option of any girl in the world, do you think you would give a single f about this chick? You wouldn't. And you can either sit there and feel sorry for yourself or you can use the next 90 days, all of this heartbreak, all of this motivation as fuel to become the best version of yourself, to become the strongest, most capable, most successful version. Or you can sit there, you can cry, you can jerk off, you can go party, you can go chase a bunch of hedonistic bullshit. But I promise you, you, none of that shit is gonna make you feel better. What's gonna make you feel better? 90 days, if you look back and you haven't made any progress, you're still in the same bullshit position, I promise you. You're not gonna feel better. You're just prolonging your healing period. And look, is it the healthiest thing in the world to use heartbreak as motivation? Probably not. But you have it, so you might as well because it's fucking effective. And the truth is, bro, the moment she broke up with you, she had a hundred dude in her DMs. How many girls did you have in yours? Probably none. So what are you gonna do about it? Are you gonna do the same shit that made you lose the girl in the first place? Are you gonna analyze the chessboard, make a change so that this shit never happens again? And the truth is, nobody gives a fuck about men's mental health. The world doesn't give a fuck. Your friends don't give a fuck your landlord don't give a fuck your employers don't give a fuck so why would you sit there and feel sorry for yourself when nobody else is going to and guess what nobody else is going to come help you either so get your ass up get to work and prove every motherfucker who doubted you wrong and there's going to be a beautiful thing that happens a year two years three years down the line when you've worked hard and you've become the best version of yourself and she's going to realize she fucked up because she's never going to get a g like you ever again and i promise you that feeling i've had it is the best feeling in the world and guess what a year two years three years down the line you're not even gonna give a fuck about the bitch anymore because you're gonna have a hundred different options that are objectively better than her but you need to make the decision you need to get your ass up and you need to get to work there is no hero's journey that is devoid of pain heartbreak and struggle and this is a part of your hero's journey this is a part of you becoming the best version of yourself but most motherfuckers don't ever feel that most motherfuckers get their heart broken they stay in the same place and the same shit happens per perpetually and get the fuck off the internet listening to all these sad songs watching all these heartbreak videos you don't have time for that shit the only thing you have time for is leveling the fuck up running your bag up making money and changing your life first time i got my heart broken i didn't have shit i was unemployed i dropped out of school I was homeless, sleeping on couches. And guess what? I used that heartbreak as fuel. 100,000 followers later. Six-figure business. DM full of pretty girls. And you think I give a solitary fuck about the bitch that broke my heart? Absolutely not. I am objectively out her league. And every single dude that she has to date is a downgrade from me. And that's just keeping it 100. If she goes on, she dates some NBA player, baller, congratulations, but that shit ain't happened yet. And that's not a slight at her, but this shit is competition. This shit is war. Every time you take your foot off the gas on some take it easy shit, there are motherfuckers who are working to take your spot. And guess what? They want the same girl as you. They want the same car. They want the same job. They want the same customers. They want everything that you want. And guess what? They not taking their foot off the gas. Whether their heart is broken or whether they're madly in love, they are working to make shit happen. And yeah, this video might motivate you, but I promise you that motivation is going to be fleeting. You're going to wake up and you're not going to want to get out of bed because you're tired from staying up all night. You're going to be sore and not feel like going to the gym. You're going to get your ass beat and sparring and not want to go back to the gym. But all of that pain and all of that struggle is exactly what you need, which is why God is blessing you with the opportunity to level the fuck up.